Hello everybody, welcome back to SMS Weekly where we look at progress, growth and motivation. Yep, that's a new catchphrase. And today we're going to be reviewing the mid-semester resolutions video. How I did upon those resolutions and why I did the video, why I decided to make a few resolutions going into the second half of the first semester. And of course, before we get into today's video, I would really appreciate it if you go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so that you don't miss my future content, you get a little notification every time I release a new video. And of course, like that goddamn video so that you can see more videos related to the one that I'm producing right now. So to those who have been relatively new to the channel, I would like to explain what this video is. So a while ago, I made a video on mid-semester resolutions, like a video during the mid-semester break on how I would like to improve come the second half of the first semester. If you want to have further context, I'll put a link somewhere up there. You can go check it out or it's in the description box of this video. So you can go check that out for further context, but I'm just going to dive into the to like the resolutions. So I put three resolutions, if you remember correctly, switching off the screens, writing a consistent daily journal and sleeping for eight plus hours. So I'm going to mark these out of 10 and see how far I go. And I will be out of 30, of course. So let's see. Switching off the screens. I would give this a 3 out of 10, mainly because I didn't, I did, I did it for the first 3 weeks, but after that, I kind of slacked off like I do in most things, I just slacked off, they never did it. 3 weeks out of 8 isn't bad, but now I'm just going to give it a 3. I would rather give it a 0, but of course you need some consolation, you need some pride, right? So that's it, and the next one, which is writing a consistent daily journal. So this one, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. I've said it in one of my previous videos and I'll say it again. I've never been more consistent in what I do and like ever in my life except eating and sleeping obviously rather than write a daily journal because I couldn't believe that I wrote every single day for from like the 20th of March to what was the last day before the test? 17th of May. Because like I don't write during exams because I just have to study, rest, study, rest. It depends on the mood. And then when I get back home, who writes a daily journal on resting? Like, uh. So during this whole semester, I actually wrote every single goddamn day. Like, boom. So that's it. So I'll give this a 10 out of 10. And then the final one, sleep for 8 plus hours. I'll give this an 8 out of 10, mainly because I didn't do it for 2-3 to three weeks like during the back end of the semester when assignments started to pile up, there's a physics research, a chemistry poster, then there was a maths uh, application task thing, and then of course there's an English argumentative essay, all four within that 2-3 to three week period, which didn't give me enough time to adjust, and if I try to crave for that extra 1 hour of sleep, I could have a lot of work like demolished I couldn't do that so I tried to, I only slept like seven hours for like two weeks then got back to eight hours during the exams before that I also slept eight hours so I'll give this an eight out of ten so if you combine all of them you get 21 out of 30 which is like a really good score in my opinion but of course there's still room for improvement so it's now time for the most important part why I did the mid semester resolutions video so basically a resolu when you set a resolution, you try to complete the resolution. You know those guys, right, who said make New Year resolutions. Then they try to check back at the back end of the year whether they completed the resolution or not. Although you forget what your resolutions are by April if you do a whole year. And of course, after those resolutions, the successful ones turn into habits. For me, when you mark it out of 10, when you get 7 or above, that is like a successful habit. And that's the same thing here. When you look at daily journal, sleeping for eight hours or more, those two suddenly become my habits. So when I go back there and start the second semester, I already know what my habits are. Number one, consistent daily journal. Number two, sleeping for eight hours or more. Those are my two daily habits. And of course, the unsuccessful ones 
you try them again. Like for me, switching up the phones during class, it didn't work out this time, so I'll try to work it out the next time. Like in the second semester, I'll do another video again, and hopefully it's included in there, and of course I'll try to blend in new habits. Because as I said before, college is a place where you try to level up as a person, as well as try to study there. So, trying to develop as a person basically means picking up good habits and letting go of the bad ones. Then these resolutions, they play a vital part in the development of a human because better habits, better workflow, better development. At least that's my theory. Ah oh, shit, it's raining outside again. I can't seem to catch a break while shooting these videos, like today's been a bad shooting day. So that's it, we've come to the end of the video, hope you enjoyed this one. If you haven't yet, go see the Midsummer Resolutions video, just for further context into these resolutions and how I explained on why I tried to develop these resolutions into habits, so go check that out. And hopefully I'll get some more content regularly out the way. I'm getting some momentum and hopefully I can continue that throughout my semester break. And if you haven't yet, go down there. Come on, hit that subscribe button. We are on our road to 100. Let's get there before the end of the year. Yeah, before the end of the year, not even joking. Go down there, hit that button, hit the little bell so that you don't miss my future content whenever I post. And hopefully you have hit the like button as well and I'll see you guys next week. Don't get depressed. See ya.